Morning, everyone, and welcome to today's Cup of Joe. I uh, had to get things done quickly today, so uh, poor Cup of Joe is missing today. But uh, I will open us up with a prayer after this weekend of Corpus Christi Sunday. Wanted to say a prayer of thanksgiving for the Eucharist with you. And this is a prayer of St. Thomas Aquinas. I think it might even be in our missalettes uh, at the church that you've probably seen before. But I want to pray this in gratitude for the gift of the Eucharist today. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, I thank you for even though I am a sinner, an unprofitable servant, not because of my worth, but in the kindness of your mercy, you have fed me with the precious body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that this Holy Communion and every Holy Communion may not bring me to condemnation and punishment, but forgiveness and salvation. May it be a helmet of faith and a shield of goodwill. May it purify me from evil ways and put an end to my evil passions. May it bring me charity and patience, humility and obedience, and growth and power to do good. May it be my strong defense against all my enemies, visible and invisible, and the perfect calming of all my evil impulses, bodily and spiritual. May it unite me more closely to you, the one true God, and lead me safely through death to everlasting happiness with you. And I pray that you will lead me, a sinner, to the banquet where you, with your Son and the Holy Spirit, are true and perfect light, total fulfillment, everlasting joy, gladness without end, and perfect happiness to the saints. And grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So this week, uh, <clears throat> being a week that we're hoping to get people uh, back into the churches a little bit. Our church will be open on Wednesday from 8 to 8, and then Friday from 8 to 8. And then, uh, God willing, on Sunday, we will get everything rolling for our first Mass at 9.30 this coming Sunday. So, kind of exciting stuff. And uh, I also want to look at, continue through our walk through the Sermon on the Mount. We're, in, we're still in the fifth chapter. Um, fifth, five, six, and seven are the Sermon on the Mount chapters. And today, <clears throat> what Jesus talks about, Jesus says to his disciples, and this is, this is big. You've heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, turn the other to him as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, hand him your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go with him for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you, and do not turn your back on one who wants to borrow. This is all about love, and that's the whole point of Christianity. It's what Christianity is all about. It's what we're called to live, it's who our God is. God is a perfect, loving relationship of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, a perfect lover, the beloved, and the love that exists between them. And what does Jesus want us to do here? What does he want us to think about? Well, uh, the Old Testament philosophy was, well, if someone takes an eye, take an eye. If someone takes a tooth, take a tooth in return. Uh, just that kind of justice that says, if this was done to you, then, this should, then, then that should be done to them in return. But what Jesus is saying, he's saying it, it, it's, it's actually really powerful. He's saying that how will we overcome? We will overcome by them, allow, allowing them to see the love that we have when it seems like we should be angry. When they do something to us that should send us through the wall in anger, we'll do something out of love and return to them. And it might be hard, it might be challenging. If some soldier comes up and says, you carry my stuff for a mile, well, we don't want to do that. But that's what they had to do in the Old Testament. If a soldier did that, you would have to carry his stuff for a mile. And so what they would do is he was challenging the Christians. He says, if that's what they asked to do, you want to change their hearts? You want them to have this metanoia we talk about, this changing of mind, changing of heart? Well, then... Go two miles with them. Say, when you get to the one mile mark and they say, you can stop, say, you know what? I'll take it another mile for you. That is how you change hearts. That is how you change minds. Going above and beyond what, the, what that person expects, especially when they're doing something that you don't want to do. They're asking you to do something you don't want to do. And that's the thing. 
that's what this is going on. If they say, ask for your tunic, well, see, here's my cloak as well. Let them see the love that Christians have for one another. This is the path. This is the way. This is Christianity. This is what we believe as Catholics. Is that we are called to do the hard thing even when it's the hard thing, the right thing even when it's the hard thing. To love when we don't feel like loving. When other people are telling us to do things we don't want to do. What can change their heart? It's for us to go above and beyond what even they would, what they, even what they think might be a lot. But if we can do even more, that's our love. That's what Christ is challenging us to. And that's what the Sermon on the Mount is all about, brothers and sisters. It's about Jesus saying that apart from me, you can do nothing. But with me, you can do things that you would never dream possible. Because God does incredible things. And with God, all things are possible. He's teaching us that in the Sermon on the Mount. And he'll continue to teach us that. That is what we're, where we're going today. And just keep that in mind, and that's my challenge for you all today. If you're doing something you don't want to do, or if someone asks you to do something unexpected that you don't want to do, how are you going to show them love? Are you going to complain about it? Are you going to whine about it? Are you going to say, I don't want to do that? Or are you going to do it? And do it with joy? Do it with love? And maybe even just a little bit of an extra credit challenge, which Jesus is asking us to do today is to do something a little more than they're even asking you to do out of love so that their hearts might be conformed more to the love of Christ by the witness they see of us, Jesus' followers. That's my prayer today, and I hope that the Lord will bless you and give you the strength to be able to do that to the best of your human ability, doing the hard, right thing when it's the hard thing, loving when it's hard to love, and even going above and beyond what other people expect of us at work, at home with whoever it is. Do something that someone won't expect of you. That's your evangelization challenge for today. Maybe it's your husband, maybe it's your wife, maybe it's your coworker, maybe it's someone, your boss at work. Do something above and beyond. Show them love beyond what they would expect today. And it is then that hearts begin to be transformed by Christ. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And he's not here today, but... As always, may your cup of joe be the means of your joy today. God bless you all.